Hello everyone, my name is Jerry Beer and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. So we need to talk to the people around the town. Ah, huh, what a remarkable tale that was. The Pokemon it belonged to must have been a wee little thing. It was hiding behind some rocks when I found it, not but its tail poking out. But it was a tail I'd give anything to see again. Think you can catch the Pokemon I'm about? Its tail was elegant and swirling like a spring. Come sh show it to me after you catch it. Oh. Wait. Um. I'm. S Maybe I don't have to talk to these people. Maybe these are just new missions that are available. And is he asking to see us? Oink. Curly tailed Pokemon. Those aren't any of them. Alright, apparently I don't know what it is. And I wonder why I left my shiny ponyta here. And it could have been on the team. Huh, weird. This one has a tail. Is this it? Okay, so I'm, I don't think we actually have to talk to these people. Which is fine. But I will just do it just to get another mission. Um, I mean, the field's even bigger, but we don't have enough helpers. Lend them a water type Pokemon. Water, a Pokemon with a water type move. Yeah, here, take one of these dumb Psyducks. Alright, so then hopefully they can give me some more stuff. We'll keep your Pokemon here to help out with the field. I talk to for farming. You? Um. God, I don't. I guess I'm medicinal. Oh, I forgot I have to pay you guys to grow shit. I thought they were, you know, just growing stuff and giving a portion to everyone. Three. Try to sweet. I guess we might see more. It's the species called shellers. Yeah, as I say, I don't think I have a shellers. Let alone both east and west. And downstairs? Jeez. We'll get to the basement one after. Talk to the commander. I commend you on your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Mirelands. Your next orders are to begin the survey of the Cobalt Coastlands. I will let you know in advance there are no Pokemon nobles in the Cobalt Coastlands. Allow me to explain. We did have a lord in the coastlands until a few years ago, 
A tragedy took him from us. Now we've had reports of people seeing strange, shadowy figures on the island the Lord used to call his home. We have also received word from both the security corps and supply corps. Seems some of their members were attacked by a ghost while gathering materials around Firespit Island. These are serious concerns. Moreover, my clan can't just can't tolerate this desecration of our late Lord's seat. Now I'd entrust this to our warden in the coastlands, but her situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. I'm off. I'll meet you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and I know this must be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm sorry, Jaegerbra. Think nothing of it. Jaegerbra is a talented, hardworking member of the Galaxy team. I'm sure he will sort things out. Indeed, Jaegerbra quelled the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both his strength and his kindness firsthand. The next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. It's farther f field from the Crimson Mirelands. Much farther. The path is long and trying. With your current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. If you know your mission, investigate Fire Pit Island. Alright, so I also... There's another mission like downstairs, right? Yeah. Herbs are... bluish vine that has herbs that look like blue vines head. a Pokemon with blue vines I do know one is it this one just look at the solid love of vines and this aroma this is scent I remember yes these are the herbs from my home all right The vines moving? I wonder what the Pokemon itself looks like underneath all those. <clears throat> anyway, thank you for finding it. Easy enough. Smoke bombs and EXP candies. <clears throat> oh, I have an idea. If I lived with Pokemon like you, I'd be able to enjoy this room every day. Well... I guess you can keep it. Alright. Now, if no one else is going to get in our way, let's go. Oh, really? What do you people have? I'm pretty sure. I think I forget. I know. I think you need a different currency. It isn't Yagerbra. Oh. Well, I suppose it's to be expected that I'd run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? Uh, Firespit Island. Oh, Firespit Island? Perhaps you'll run into our Polina. She's in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warren, and yet she has no noble to see to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, though not to her face. Oh, do, do forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be airing dirty laundry. Piece of advice, then. It's an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones, which hold mysterious power. With the right stone, you can evolve some Pokemon. You need look no further than clever for proof of that. What I'm trying to say is basically this. If you and the Survey Corps want to learn all there is to know about the Pokemon of this region, then the stones you find throughout Haisu will be important. There's even a tail of a stone that contains the power of creation. The very same power Almighty Sinnoh used to create the universe. I trust you'll take my advice to heart and not underestimate how important stones can be. To help grind this fact to you, here I'll give you some rather handy stones and things I found. Should you want some stones that can help Pokemon evolve, I believe the Ginkgo Guild has them from time to time. Neat. Thanks, but none of my Pokemon need stone. 
to evolve. I actually think they might all be at max level as it is, which is weird, but max evolution. Pretty. Man, now I wish it was. Now I wish I could go to a beach and not be in Pennsylvania in fall, with turning winter. Ha! Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands. A simply lovely corner of Haisu. Sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kind of Pokemon away is here? I wonder. Water types? Or flying types, perhaps? Ooh! I simply can't wait to study them all. Now, I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to research the series Pokemon, but let's not forget that you have a mission to accomplish. So any questions before you get started? About the island. Hmm, indeed. Firespit Island is an offshore volcano. You'll need to cross the sea to reach it. I'd advise you to speak to a fellow called Iskin. He's one of the Diamond Clan's wardens and will surely help you find your way. Alright. Well, I can't think of any other value talking to those people. Alright. What's up, not May? I do love the flute. feels as if its tones carry to the very ends of space. But I am here, and so are you. So now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. Sure. Very good. You who have seen the vast space beyond the rift, here I come. She's gonna get decimated. Aw, oh, she has a Glaceon. And an Eevee. Wait, whoa, whoa, hey. Hey, fair fight. Is that a wild Eevee? Wait, hmm. Huh. Is this a wild Eevee? Could I have caught that Eevee? Yeah, I still might be able to. I don't think that's her Eevee. It does say opposing Eevee. Not wild Eevee, but it might always say opposing. Take it out. Ah, Fourteen damage on a quick attack. Some amount of damage on a quick attack. Ah, another one. At least on a few quick attack meets. Oh, Cadabras. 
still needs to evolve. Rapid Rapid Dashes. Fire melts ice, right? I really don't I Okay, I Man, I could have taken this EV out a long time ago. I was one button click away from finding that out. Ah, now I feel better. The world is vast and I am small within it. Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. Alright. With you, I think I... With... I think with you, I can be frank. I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander, but in truth... I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Polina. But she tends no oh lord or lady that she would not raise a success for it to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. But Lena, that is to say Polina, she's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask of you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into a true heir to his father, the late lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late lord's heir would grow into a worthy successor. If he succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know of anyone I'd trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Clever's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up on the headland. Head down this hill and turn left. You should find a slope leading up onto the ridge. Pretty sure that bounced off him. Oh. Too far. to get back into distance judging. What was this? Oh. One of those things I was supposed to gather up.
No, thank you. I think I have to go here. There's a s yeah, or guys. Why wouldn't you put the Pokeballs together? I think that one actually gained height. the air slash twice so heavy is good at unsuspecting I need to use, I need 200 health, so. free.
I thought I was throwing a normal Pokeball to catch it. Cures paralysis. It's one of these things. PP poisoning, drowsiness, paralysis. Oh wait, that's right. Those things. don't last for they don't last after a battle's over wow those things are lead balloons Looks like we're working with the old high su versions of Growlithe. Wait, Nurse Joy? <laughs> I'm Polina of the Pearl Clan. Who might you be? Ah, so you're that child from the Galaxy Team. I heard now how you aided Clever and Lilligant. None other could quell their frenzies. Your strength must be amazing, and yet you have such a gentle face. Very ten-year-old. So it brings you to the Cobalt Coastlands. We have no lord here, much less a frenzied one for you to quell. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. Was rescuing his young pup that had been swept out to sea and ended up giving his life to ensure the pup's safe return. If you were to guess which one of these Growlithe would you say is the previous Lord's child? The big one? That's what everyone says at first, but no. This quiet, skittish Growlithe is the child of the previous Lord. I have no doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine lord, but witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars in his heart. There are those who expect me to train him more strictly, force lordship upon him before he is ready, but I could never bring myself to do that. No matter what the rest of the Pearl Clan says, my mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one side and let him live his life as he wishes. So now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? Uh, which one am I? Uh, I guess this one. Ah, did Arida ask you to intervene perhaps? 
appreciate the kind gesture, truly. But I'm afraid this matter simply does not concern you. So now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? I'm... Okay. So I guess that just circles around. Weird. A survey of Fire Spit Island. I see. There are rumors the place is haunted by strange shadows. These days. You'll need the aid of a Pokemon known as Bascu Legion if you wish to cross the sea. You should speak to Iskan, a warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. There's definitely something strange happening out on Firespit Island. Those shadowy fears are concerning, of course, but then there's also the odd lightning that came from that rift in the sky. Lightning is a sign that the heavens are angry. I worry that we may have offended almighty Sinnoh somehow. In the past, the Pearl Clan and Diamond Clan were locked in conflict over which side revered the true almighty Sinnoh. Even if we've reached an uneasy peace, the true Almighty Sinnoh must be angry because there are still those who worship a false image of it. Ah, but I digress. I do apologize. Iskin lives on Apom Hill, just past Ginkgo Landing. I imagine you'll find him there. Wow. Oh, I don't. I wanted to investigate this. Here lies. Here rests the spirit of the Lord of the Isles, the Great Noble Arcanine. Well, look at this guy. He's cooler than your Rowlifts. Still 19 wisp remaining. Ah, there goes the iron. Artillery. Fucking Walrene. Popping it out of nowhere. Excuse me, have you seen a fellow from the Construction Corps named Yorich? No. 
Ha, huh, this is hopeless. Where could he have gone? Would you mind helping me track him down? You're waiting a little further ahead. Mm. Oh, I guess that does give me a, a camp set up. That is important. found your ghost problem, it's ghost. Ah. I open this chest. sounds coming from behind me. Like I said, I need you help finding your He and I came to set up base camp, but then he went off on his own to get the lay of the land and hasn't come back. Here we go. Where? Oh. So I just sprinted way past the where I was supposed to be and found ghost. Great. I hope I caught him. Why, hello there, Mr. Yahira. Fancy running into you out here. Me? Oh, I'm on the hunt for some plates. How's your plate hunting going, friend? Uh, so-so, I guess. I haven't really cared. No need to be humble. I see you've already got your hands on four plates. You gain plates when you quell frenzied nobles. Does that mean there's 18 frenzied nobles? And when a great Pokemon recognizes you as worthy of bearing, isn't that right? The way you've been collecting those plates, it reminds me of the ancient hero, the one that's said to have battled against almighty Sinnoh. You know, I've been wondering, the ten Pokemon that are said to have followed the ancient hero, their powers are supposed to have come from almighty Sinnoh itself. Why would they seek to challenge almighty Sinnoh along with the, other, the hero then? Perhaps we'll get some answers once we gather all the plates. Well, let's both do our best to find more. But please, don't overexert over yourself. I'd hate for something to happen to one of the guards. Loyal customers. Oh, the guild's loyal customers. That makes more sense. I guess let's get on. Does, can I do anything with this fire? No. Do, do I have a visitor? I'll, I'll be right out. Give me a moment. So, um... I'm Iskin of the Diamond Clan. Galaxy team member with a Celestica flute? Oh, ho, you must be Erber, right? H have I done something to warrant your visit? No. Well, some of it's give me quite a shock. 
I do hope you'll give me advance notice in the future. I will not. So, um, why are you here? To visit that island. So you, you want to go to Firespit Island? Well, if you insist, then you probably need Basculin's favorite snack. That should help him warm up to you. Perhaps, but be preparing his favorite, oh, it's um more than a little difficult. More like an impossibly high hurdle, or really just impossible, if I'm being honest. How so? I'll tell you, I have the right materials, but... But then you... Well, you see, the next part is something I could never manage. But you need to catch this one Pokemon that appears at night. Which Pokemon? You, you really want to know? You really don't value your own life, do you? It's d d dus Dusclops. Ooh, even saying its name fills me with dread. I should have caught one when I was back there. So the materials for the food have to be imbued with flavor by Dusclop's dark pulse. That's the only way you can make Basculegion's favorite food, you see. Got it. Oh, wow, is everyone in the galaxy team like you? Your nerves aren't just steel, they're titanium. It's positively frightening how um, fearless you are. D -d 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 uh, I can't say it. Well, the Pokemon I need has only one eye. It can be found wandering around Deadwood Haunt. Uh, Deadwood Haunt is the area that looks like a hand on the map. You'll know you're there when you find the wrecked boats. I, I tried very hard to avoid those one-eyed Pokemon, so now I know a lot about them. You see. Alright. So I do not have any Dusclops. Is that right? It's a dust skull. So dust clops is the big one, right? Ooh, it does not seem to appear on that. All right, let's go. Is this the right direction? Uh, not quite. Ah, I see what he means about it looking like a hand. Jerks. Ah. Guys, just let me sneak around and catch you. Ah, shit. Ah, double shit. Wrong button. one dumb Pokeball. I guess... I guess I'll have to catch 
reach it this way. now on my turn. Oh, that's such a great spot. You motherfucker. Oh, shit. Oh, no, it's daytime. That's going to make my um, catching of one of them a little impossible for the short time being. So I'm going to have to wait until nighttime, which I feel like this episode might have... I don't know where the time went, but I think I'm going to have to actually end this here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying Pokemon Legends Arceus. As always, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.